morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we woke up today. We're gonna set out today and explore um, all of the cool sites of Budapest. Yep. Um, it's supposed to rain, but we like rain, so we're about it. Yep. We are. Well, hopefully it's not downpouring and we get soaked because that would be bad because we're supposed to be walking all around today, so that would be. Bad. It's okay. We'll have fun with it. And we're gonna see all of Budapest, all the cool sites. Yeah. For one day, we are gonna try Yay. to do that. <laughs> so I'm yeah. So excited. <laughs> That's like an oyster. <laughs> and it was not until like 30 more minutes so we stopped by to get some coffee first and drinks I got myself a cappuccino yeah and, and I got um, apple cinnamon punch it has apple cinnamon and orange it looks like Ooh. it smells like it smells really good it smells like cinnamon and apple Yum. from the apple orchard <laughs> yes <laughs> And Timmy got himself. I got a uh, famous hot chocolate. Just kept it uh, natural and basic. I'm a basic white girl. <laughs> but it smells really chocolatey. And it actually tastes... Uh, you taste it? Yeah, I just licked the side because the chocolate was dripping. <laughs> and it tastes really good. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm excited. So guys, we just came to grab breakfast at a restaurant called A La Maison. Grand? Grande? I don't know, but it looks delicious. It has uh, French toast, so really that's all it needs. It's a breakfast and brunch place. Yeah, it's a breakfast and brunch place. It was like uh, it was like number one on all the lists that we looked up for like the top breakfast place to try in Budapest. So we came here, we made our reservation, and uh, now we ordered our food, and we're just waiting for it. We just got our breakfast, and it looks amazing, and it smells amazing, and we are so hungry. We waited a long time for this today. Truly. So we are gonna really quickly show you and then get to digging in. Ruby's already helping herself. But she got a black currant and raspberry uh, like fruit bowl. It's almost like an acai bowl, but it's like a different type of fruit. It has oats in it, some pumpkin, some seeds. I don't know what those seeds are. <laughs> some seeds in it and chia seeds and a bunch of different fruit. How does it taste, Ruby? Good. Yeah, you can mix it all around if you'd like. And then I got, it's called, they called it a fitness breakfast. It comes with eggs, I got them scrambled, some smoked salmon, avocados, and then like a side salad. <laughs> and then this is, this is pretty interesting. It's like cream tuna. You can see there's like mustard in it. And I'm assuming this is butter, I'm not sure. And then this is some sourdough bread. And then Timmy. Oh some delicious looking French toast. Look how fancy that is. The presentation. Looks like someone point. dragged some chocolate or some <laughs> across my plate. Just dribbled some fruit and ice cream on it. Look at these berries. Don't they look like those linden berries from Ikea? They do, yeah. They look like poison berries. <laughs> yeah. Alright everybody, so breakfast was very, very delicious. It was so good. Yeah, we are very full now and we are heading to... Uh, Buda Castle. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead to the Buda Castle. Budapest is divided into to two parts. Um, it used to be two completely different cities, but then they built the Hungarian Parliament building when they all came together and it became a Budapest. So the western side is Buda and the eastern side is Pest. And it's separated by the Danube River. Danube. <laughs> Dan Danube? Danube. Right now we're on the Pest side and then uh, we're gonna cross um, a famous bridge over to the Buddha side and then we're gonna go up to the Buddha castle and we will show you guys that. Leaving the Pest side going to the Buddha side using the Elizabeth Bridge. There's a decent amount of cars so you might not be able to hear me but 
You can still see my beautiful face, so it's fine. You're welcome. And it's so beautiful on this bridge. It is like you got like a cliff over here that just looks so cool, and then you have the Danube River, and it just looks so pretty. Here, check this out. So we had to come back home because there was a crazy downpour of rain. So we're just gonna do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be a sunny day. So it'll look, it'll look even better uh, when we go to the places too. So you guys won't even really realize it, but uh, the next time we see you uh, will be at these cool places. So boom. So we just warped to the Buddha castle. Um, this place is really cool. It's super big. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of people here today. A bunch of Hungarian kings that used to live here. Um, it was built in 1265, which is an extremely long time ago. It was rebuilt again in 1749. I guess um, over time it got damaged, so they rebuilt it again, refurbished it up into what it is today. So it looks really cool. It's up on a, a big hill that's called Castle Hill in Budapest. You can oversee the entire Pesh side and most of the Buddha side from here too. It's a beautiful climb up here too and the it, it just you have a view of the whole Danube River and like the three bridges connecting it. It is so pretty. Yep, the entire inside is a, a museum. It looks like a museum of art. Yeah, it's very very beautiful here. Very good spot for pictures if you get here early enough though. I will say like so yesterday we came here when it was raining and we had to leave right away because it was raining, it was pouring a lot, and, but there was nobody here, obviously, because it was raining. Mm -hmm. And now it's just filled with people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, but it's still, it's really nice and everybody has space, like it's a big area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely worth the visit here, and I think this is one of the top things to do here. For sure, yeah. What do you think of the castle, Ruby? It's cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah? So beautiful. It's beautiful. The it's roof, beautiful. the roof of the church itself is just something so pretty. I've never seen a roof like that. Like yeah. it's just got these like small like hexagon like pattern. Like tiles. Yeah, like tile type of. Um, it's just so colorful and fun. And like the whole castle itself is very like white and pale. And then just it, the roof is just so fun and colorful. I love it. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. And they have this like castle like structure all around it and you can go on it and it's like a really nice viewpoint yeah. it's just so pretty and there are a lot of people here so yeah, if, if you're hoping to come get your pictures here or anything you better come early on a good day i think it's because the weather is so nice because when we came here yesterday there was nobody here we didn't come this far though but when we were just out yeah nobody was out nobody was out we didn't think there was anybody here yeah. church um, but it is actually closed right now I don't, I'm not sure why but it's a really old fortress and it's just so beautiful it, this whole place just looks like something out of a storybook it looks like just castle structures and it's got lookout spots and it's so pretty it's really cool yeah, the, yeah like the entrance is I guess what they're calling fisherman's bastion or whatever but it, they have like huge like gates and like arches mm -hmm. and then there's huge like lookout towers and stuff yeah. like that. I'm sure it was 
like looked really cool back in the day too. It looks, yeah, and it looks amazing right now. But there are so many people, I'm very shocked. There's a lot like, of people here. Yeah. It even, like Google sometimes does the live like traffic thing and it says that it's busier than usual. I think this Sound is line. like, <laughs> I think it's one of the only sunny days of the week so everybody took advantage of that and yeah, came yeah. out. Parliament building. It's, yes. It's easily the coolest looking building here in my opinion. Really? I thought the, the Matthias church was way better. It was alright, but this one is so much cooler. It's so big. It's also the largest build, building in all of Budapest. Um, it was completed in 1904. They built it because the three cities around the area was Budapest and Abadu. They all came together to form one city, uh, Budapest. So they wanted a building to basically put all three cities into one, like the governing people all into one building or whatever. So they built this huge monster. It is really cool, it's impressive. And there are not as many people here as the other side. Oh yeah, so it's a lot nicer. It's quieter. Yeah, it's a lot quieter, still very chilly. But you have a great view of the Danube River and the whole city. Yeah. It's so pretty here, like every, corner that you turn on is another view and it's beautiful. Yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, and then you've got these statues in front of the building. Of course, they're guarding it like gargoyles. They are, yeah. They're massive too. <laughs> they're very huge, but they're very cool. Yeah, they're really cool. It's just so fascinating how people built, built these things so long ago without yeah. the, the equipment that we have nowadays. Yeah. It's just really cool. The, uh, the architect of this building, um, he actually went blind during the building of it and so he never even saw it completed. Yeah, That's that was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that crazy, Ruby? Yeah. <laughs> so he spent so much time and effort into like uh, designing it and then getting everything together to build it, and then um, didn't even get to see it finished. Wow. So that's that's extremely sad for him. Yeah, wouldn't that suck? <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Really. down from the parliament building there is this like memorial set up called shoes at the danube river where um, out of respect for the jewish people that came here from the Hol holocaust it was a it was a memorial that they made in 2005 where um i guess the the jews that were brought here by the hungarian militia they were uh, forced to stand on like the edge here, right by the river, and then they were they were told to take their shoes off, and then they were um, shot, and then their bodies fell in the river. So they put a bunch of like uh, shoes here to, I guess, just show respect to them. Yeah, it's a really really sad thing, and it's crazy. It's just crazy the things that took place yeah. with the whole Holocaust and yeah. everything, and how many people suffered. It's, sad. It's really really sad. And even honestly, in this day and age, you don't think that that kind of stuff would happen, but... Yeah, unless you're in China, I guess. It's actually happening in, in different parts of the world. People yeah. are still being so cruel to each other. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. So guys, we made it to the St. Stephen's of Bascula. There was um, a Die Hard movie that was filmed here in 2013. I can't remember which Die Hard it was, but if you saw that movie, you would definitely recognize this building. There's also this like two block like walkway that you can see this building the entire time. It's extremely cool. came inside, it cost uh, 2,000 Hungarian florins for adults, and uh, children under seven are free. 
you can go all the way to the top. It's like a panoramic look out of the entire city. So we're just waiting now to get on the elevator to take us up. Off the elevator. Lift elevator, stairs. After that elevator ride, you have to go up another 145 steps before you get to the lookout view. So just a heads up. Ruby is a little nervous about this. Oh my goodness! Oh, we made it up to the top and look at this. Oh, it's incredible. this uh, chimney cake shop place which sells these traditional Hungarian desserts. It's basically Fried like, dough. <laughs> yeah, like this um, cake that was baked, um, they bake it in this like cone uh, shape and then they put like cinnamon sugar on it and then you have the option to like get them filled with things. Me and Ruby are sharing the vanilla one. Um, so they just filled it with vanilla ice cream. Okay. Yep. And then Timmy got the... I got the apple strudel yeah. chimney cake with the cinnamon ice cream. Yeah. How's it taste? Mm, so good. So good. Yeah. See the specks of vanilla in there? That's when you know it's really good. So guys, we made it to um, Hero Square here in Budapest. Captain America and Iron Man are not here. No, but Tim is. <laughs> so really that's all that matters. But uh... I was lied to. I thought there were going to be some superheroes here. Just me, I'm sorry. So if you can see behind me, there are 14 Hungarian emperors. They have them all in between the uh, pillars there. This was built in 1906. So it's about as old as my dad. Not that old yet. But uh, it's really cool. They have uh, in the middle there, way up on the top, is Arch Archangel Gabriel. I guess he's watching over them. Ruby's here too. She's easily the fastest five-year-old that's in this square. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, everybody, we made it back to our Airbnb and we finished up the day of exploring all of Budapest, it seems yeah. like. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, we went, to, um, we went to the Buddhist side. We saw everything that they had, all the major tourist spots. And then we went over, we came back to the Pesh side where our Airbnb is at. And we saw all, all the tourist spots there too. And then we stopped, um, we stopped and got a chimney cake. And that was, uh, it was delicious. Yeah, so we got to see all of Budapest and it was amazing. This city is very, very beautiful. I'm so surprised. I actually like the city, I like Budapest better than Bucharest. Everybody here is so sweet and yeah. I'm very surprised like everybody spoke English. Like even the locals here spoke English. So it's true. That, that's Definitely really helps. cool. Yeah, very helpful because Hungarian is a very hard yeah. language. We learned yeah. to learn. Looked up a few words, like the basic words, like thank you, hi, yes, no, and I honestly don't remember them. <laughs> it's really that was yesterday. And, 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 and we um, looked up butterfly. Yeah, yeah, we looked up how to say butterfly, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Someone might have asked us. Yeah. yeah. Um, we do know that Budapest is pronounced Budapest because we saw Black Widow yeah. and we know. She, she, she let you know how to say it. Yeah. So if you didn't see that, then you probably have no idea how to say it. Yeah. Also, um, if, you, if you do come here, they don't like the joke. Are you hungry? <laughs> they don't like that joke. So don't ever use that joke if you come here. <laughs> yeah. Not that we tried it or anything. We, we knew better. <laughs> yeah, we were told not to. Yeah. Um, so far, it's probably been my favorite place we've been to. Mm -hmm. Like the city and like uh, everything that comes with it. Like the people, the food, the buildings, all that. It's been my favorite so far. He says that about every single place. We've been. I don't. You do. Ruby, what do you think of Budapest? Uh, I like it a lot. What was your favorite place we saw today? Um, I'm gonna say the castles. Yeah? Weren't they beautiful? Yeah. Like Budapest, I mean, 
Buddha castle? Yeah. Yeah? It's very beautiful, right? Yeah, and I like the, the shoes by the water. Oh yeah, that was, that was, that was a nice memorial. It was a nice I really love Budapest too. I love I, I love the whole place. My favorite thing that we did was the Matthias Church, like right next to it. That little there was like a viewpoint, like connecting the fisherman's basin. Is that what they call it? Yeah. The, connecting the fisherman's basin. That was just beautiful. It just looked like a fairy tale type of place. Like the castles were so pretty. I loved it so much. And it's so cool because you have the city like on one side, and then all these amazing like buildings on the other side and you can really tell the difference between the Buddha side and the Pesh side yeah, because yeah. one is very like lively city life the Pesh side mm -hmm. and then the Buddha side is very like um, quiet yeah yeah quiet but still very busy just well, yeah. and the tourist areas yeah 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 we're gonna end it here if you guys like this video and want to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button leave us a like if you liked it and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>